the law that kind of was the let's say the bedrock or the, the the fabric that knit this whole society together was was a law that we call today the Breton law, and these were principles that we are very familiar with today. Uh, this is what I think is one of the more fascinating aspects of it, that these principles such as uh, freedom of contract and fair trial and things like this were, were present back then and they were a very important part of the, legal, of the legal system. But the sort of obligations or duties that one would have within society came partially from uh, their station in life, uh, duties to your family, duties father to son or to the elderly and so on, but also partly to your wider community. And these are duties that we know very well. Uh, they, they are, you could say, written on the heart, which is you don't cause harm, loss or injury to your uh, fellow man when you're going about your business. Another crucial aspect that ties into all of this was the role of reputation. And reputation is something that's crucially important, which I think has lost its, its meaning a lot in the modern world. Um, back then, we have the idea of, you know, you shake on something, it meant something. Your word was your bond. Your word was a really powerful thing. Uh, and people were given respect within society based on the amount of contribution, based on their, you know, level of, of actual respect that they had achieved from, from their peers. Uh, this also played a role in the legal system because of those who are of higher status were held to a higher standard which seems very logical and very natural, uh, those of a lower status were held to a lower standard. So to sum it up really briefly, a man of a high rank would always be fined more than a man of a low rank for a similar crime. Uh, and this makes sense. I mean, if you want to like parallel it to the modern system, I wonder why uh, we have politicians in Ireland, for example, who make terrible decisions, yet they continue in their post because they're not held to a higher standard. They're held actually, ironically, to seemingly a lower standard in society. So this kind of uh, interplay between, uh, you know, family relationships, uh, the, the rule of law and one's reputation were really the driving factors behind this system that helped to make it work in the absence of, of a state.